Hello, welcome back to JD Science Prep. Today we have an introduction to stoichiometry and the stoichiometry flowchart. We also have an example uh, using the flowchart as well as balancing equations. So just quickly to start off, it says that stoichiometry is the section of chemistry that involves using relationships between reactants and products in a given chemical reaction to determine the desired quantitative data. So by quantitative data, I mean the number of particles, the mass, or possibly the volume. Um, in a balanced reaction, we think of the coefficients as the amount of moles required in each substance. So right here, we do have uh, one reaction. Um, it's not balanced yet, but let's just go ahead and quickly balance it. So we'll have uh, one P4, we will have two P2O5, which means we should have 5O2. So basically, um, when we're relating this to stoichiometry, this means that for every one mole of P4, we're going to have two moles of P2O5 and five moles of O2. Okay, so those coefficients, uh, those balanced coefficients, they connect to the amount of moles um, for each substance in a chemical reaction. So taking a quick look at the moles flow chart here, if you would like to pause the video, you can go ahead and do that, take a quick look. Um, but this may look familiar if you have watched my uh, videos on moles on this channel. Um, when you are doing maybe you just have a unit in school uh, based around moles, you will pretty much be using half of the stoichiometry flowchart where you're just dealing with one substance but different measurements, whether it's mass, volume, particles, or moles. Um, what the stoichiometry flowchart takes into account is when you're trying to relate two different substances in a chemical reaction. Okay. So we will be using this flowchart um, in one example in this video, and I'll be posting more, uh, more videos within stoichiometry here in the next week or two. So let's take a look at our one example for this video, just a quick intro to um, questions related to stoichiometry. So it says, if we have 0 0.74 moles of phosphorus and a unlimited supply of oxygen, how many moles of diphosphorus pentoxide would be produced? So basically, the first step to any stoichiometric question is balancing the chemical reaction. So this is the exact same reaction we balanced um, near the top of this video. So we just have one P4, two P2O5, and we will have 5O2. So basically, again, Remember those coefficients, they relate to the amount of moles of each substance required in this reaction. So we are going to begin with exactly what we know, and we were given 0.74 moles of phosphorus. So I'm going to start with 0.74 moles of P4. And what the question wants us to figure out is the moles of diphosphorus pentoxide. Okay, so where this flow chart comes in, we can uh, scroll on up to the top here, or to this flow chart, and we need to identify where we are starting and where we want to end, okay? So we are given moles of phosphorus, and the question wants us to figure out moles of diphosphorus pentoxide. Okay, so we can say that Phosphorus is our A substance. Okay, so we are given moles of A. And the question wants us to figure out moles of P2O5. So we can say that um, moles of P2O5 is moles of B. So basically, this is a one-step conversion. We're just going from moles of A over to moles of B. And all we need to do that is the mole ratio. That's all we need. Okay, so we have, 
written down what we know. We're given 0 0.74 moles of P4. So I'm going to use a time sign line. And what I want on top is what I want from the question. So I want moles of diphosphorus pentoxide. So from my balance formula, I am going to put two moles of P2O5. And on the bottom, I am putting what I'm getting rid of, which is one mole of P4, okay? And um, if you're having trouble with unit conversions, you can take a look at my unit conversion video on this channel. It may help a little bit with the usage of time sign line, but basically your units should always cross off. So I have moles of P4 here, they cross off with moles of P4 here, and we are left with the units that we want, which is moles of P2O5. Okay, so all we have to do now is type this into our calculator. So we have 0 0.74 multiplied by two because it's on top. And if you won't want to, you can divide by this one, but it's really not needed since it is a one. And what you should find is 1.48 moles of P2O5, but significant figures, we can take those into account. So we're going to round this to 1.5 moles of P2O5. All right, so that's a quick introduction to stoichiometry. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.